we are capable because when you're young, there's so much energy in you and there's so much that you care about. I'm going to grow up and I'm going to say to my children that you have to change the world. I don't want to wait that. I want to give them a, a, a world that is already changed, that has so many great things. The Academy has made me decide that now is the time for each for my dreams. I've always been thinking, yeah, I'll wait later, I'll do it another day. But it's really made me realize that I have to jump now and I shouldn't be afraid of failing. There's this constant conversation of how much is the world needing something more than what we've had in the past in terms of charity and philanthropy. Uh, that's something more towards social entrepreneurship. But one of the things that I feel the Dwight Global Leadership does is brings youth to the table when often they're left from the table. Uh, many times and oftentimes the world's problems are discussed and thought and fought about and often <laughs> pretty much created by adults. But why wouldn't you bring the future adults into the conversation? And why wouldn't you give them the tools to solve the problems that sadly most of them are going to be the ones who are going to have to be dealing with? These kids that are here have proven they have an interest and I support this because they want to be here you know what I mean? they, they want to be here They're, they have a thirst for this knowledge they have a thirst for these skill sets to be instilled within them one of the unique aspects of the Dwight Global Leaders Academy is that it is truly global we have students from over 50 different countries come together in one location to learn about service they interact with and make lasting friendships with students from all over the world and they learn teamwork and communication skills which will allow them to be confident in any situation that they face. Three pillars of the Academy inspire, educate and act. And what we found over time is that if any one of those three things were missing, we didn't accomplish what we wanted to in service to the participants of the Academy. So when you have all three together, it's magic. Uh, I've been able to acquire the skills of being a good leader through various, various activities. He told me, okay, if you want to do something, this is how you should do it. This is your advice. I learned how to organize my plans. I learned in which ways I should start first. What's my priorities? How to set my priorities? how to structure my whole work, how to make my project feasible and how, how can I just actually make this thing work, make this dream into reality, actually make me feel happy and make me just feel like I can do something, I can, I can achieve this goal. Becoming a leader, being able to, to feel comfortable and confident with your ideas and the thought process that was behind them and the belief system that was behind them, to know that um, they have value and what that value is and feel totally comfortable with that. Those are skills that you have as a kid. Um, you just have to kind of let them, let them develop and, and have the right environment around you that supports that. They have given, them, given me the inspiration to do things. And I, if, I, if I tell people that there can be a change, if I act and I follow my dreams and they see me fall and I stand up with even more strength, Lots of people will feel inspired and will believe in hope.